Hello everybody, I'm Brian from Orchids by Brian and today I'm at the Seapost International Orchid Society show and sale in Pennsylvania. I'm so excited to highlight the amazing vendors and displays that they have at the show. So without further ado, I'm going to transition over to Bob from Seapost to do a little introduction to what they have in store this year. Greetings folks. Welcome to the Seapost International Orchid Show and Sale. My name is Bob. I'm a member of Seapost, the Southeastern Pennsylvania Orchid Society and we are the sponsor of this show. Southeastern Pennsylvania was a hotbed of amateur orchid growing dating back to the early 1900s. In fact, just over a hundred years ago, a number of notable local folks, Alice and Pierre DuPont among them, were instrumental in starting the American Orchid Society. In 1946, the AOS decided to establish local affiliates. And in, 19, in 1947, we became the fifth group to be so recognized. In fact, the second, third, and 13th presidents of the AOS were from the Delaware Valley. For 77 years, we have sponsored events which evolved into this, one of the largest shows of its kind. It stands out because it's a show in addition to a show, it's a sale. We have 24 exhibits, 20 quality vendors, and in addition to thousands of orchids on display or for sale, we have 700 that are registered to judging by AOS judges. It's truly an international event. Some vendors have traveled from Colombia, Ecuador, Taiwan, Brazil, Malaysia, uh, and affiliates from five states and other groups and individuals, along with the vendors are responsible for all these beautiful exhibits that you see. Your support, enables us to contribute time and money to responsible conservation groups that are working very hard to protect orchid habitat in the United States and around the world. So we hope you'll visit us and enjoy. And here are my friends at Tropical Exotic. They have some really awesome staghorn ferns, vandas for sale as well. They have some, they have probably the best selection of bulba films here. at their selection. Really nice. We have some flasks if you're interested in flasking. Look at these Vandas, $35, so reasonably priced. And of course, here is that selection of Bulba Films. Bulba Films you've probably never seen before. Here is the Contorticipellum, which I have one from these guys in my collection. But... Just incredible, incredibly unique and different plants. the pink And they also have some Hoyas and Deshidias as well. Look at this. Amazing plants here. 
a tropical exotic. And this is Wilson orchids. And they are, this is the first time highlighting for them. They have some beautiful plants. Look at this Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis. Look at what you can pick up here. $25 for a Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis. That is unbelievable. <laughs> wow, they have some really, really cool stuff here. Things I've never seen before. Look at this. Wow. So many different plants. Oops, sorry. They have Bulbophyllum Jacobsonii Guava. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. It's Catlea Shuleriana for $20. Holy cow. You can see all the different fowls. Here's some Yeah, final blue, and they do have some that are in bud. Quite a few, actually, in bud. Some unique phalaenopsis. And they have a lot that are in bloom right now at Wilson Orchids. Based in Tainan City, Taiwan. So if you're looking to purchase from international vendors, they have tons of them here at Sipos. Look at this. Val Shilariana. And look at these beauties. Look at these guys. Just opening up. And this is what they look like. Fully opened. Wow. Wow. Look at these. Yeah, this is very, very, very good place. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. So many beautiful plants. Wilson Ork is based in Taiwan. Like I said, they have tons of plants in bloom, a lot of species fowls, and their prices are very, very reasonably priced. Here's the Rincon Volva. David Sander. They have so many beautiful plants. Here's the mini mark. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I'm not a, a yellow person. I tend to gravitate more towards the blues, the reds. Here's some. Well, they're cat layers. So, yeah. yeah very this is Wilson orchids from Taiwan. This is Tenshin Gardens. And they have some beautiful orchids. They're from Taiwan, so one of the international vendors. And they have an amazing, amazing selection. Melanopsis equestris. You can see some of the plants that you can find here. So many unique orchids. I almost skipped this guy. Androbium hibiki. You can see it in there. It has some flowers. It's always great to see international vendors at the show. And they have some beautiful, beautiful plants. You can see all the different types of orchids.
Look at this. Yeah, they are in flower. They are in flower. No, there's another whole tree that's not flower. Oh. And look at this. Look at the flowers here. Wow. So many beautiful plants. Phalaenopsis schilleriana in bloom. Some Tulumia flowers blooming. Gosh, such a great variety. Look at this foul. Phalaenopsis Sogo Blueberry. Or Sogo Berry Blueberry Cupcake. So cute. So many different orchids I don't think I've ever seen before. And they have some path, multifloral paths. And check out this guy. Looks like this one is open soon. Malapoense crossed with Leucochylum. But they even have some Cattleya Little Hazel. So if you're looking for a Cattleya Little Hazel, I have one in my collection. They have some here at Tension Gardens. And look at these, gosh. Like I said, so many beautiful orchids, things you've never seen before. Boxes of those large aeroids. Fowls, dendrobiums, you name it, they got it. Wow. This is fantastic. Let's come over here and see what they have. A little bit easier. Look at this cute little mini. Catlianthi Ficon Ball. Which I have one in my collection, but it's not in bloom yet. Symbidiums and drobiums. Gorgeous blooms. So many rare plants. I've never seen it shows before. This is Tension Gardens. And this is Wade's Orchids. And look at their selection of paths, tons of paths. Different model leaf paths. Just opening up. And of course they have a bunch of mini cat layers. Look at this guy. These are all compact growing cat layers. Most of them, if not all, are from. <laughs> Sunset Valley. Thank you, Look at these. So beautiful. I love these flowers. These are nice. I love this one here. Oh, yeah, these are awesome. 
Look at that. Nice flowers. I did I got like three bars here. So many nice plants. This is from Wade's Orchids. Look at these. Oh, there is one. I don't know which one. Really wonderful. And they have some bulb film divisions as well. Yeah, that's one of the really nice. in the society. And then over here is White Plains orchids. Really beautiful plants. What a great variety. No shortage of gorgeous flowers at Sipos this year. Really, really stunning plants here. And then over here, some more catlias not in bloom yet, and white plains orchids, but on their way. And then they have some nice big white fowls. And these cymbidiums. Look at these cymbidiums that are about to, to bloom. How nice. Really, really, really great selection of plants. And this is the Bergen Water Gardens booth. They're based in Churchville, New York. And look at these beautiful orchids they have. They definitely have the most Vanda orchids at the show, but they have some amazing cat layers too. Look at this, holy cow. This is a RLC Mori Akatsaka. Really nice flower. <laughs> A great variety. Really nice pots, too. Really, really nice. And some dendrobium. You can put this one higher. Yeah. So, I'm trying to keep it away from our sign. And they have I put mine out in full sun in the afternoon. Yeah. I want to get some and they stay there all summer. Look at these. <laughs> Look at these Vandas. Wow. We find December, January is a And then boom, they pop the roots everything about February. These are amazing Vandas. Look at this. I I feel like you can put the so many different types if you love vandas or you grow vandas here you can get so many different beautiful styles. Look at this. Holy cow, look at how vibrant the color is on this. Wow. No, no, take your time. Even more 
these. Look at these. Cat layers. Definitely no shortage of Vandas here. And look at these beautiful plates. Really great plans here. Here we have my friends at J and L Orchids from Connecticut. Nice maxillaria tenifolia. And look at this path. Really nice path. And they have great, great plants. From very unique miniatures. Look at these flowers, wow. different. I love stopping by the JNL booth because you always see plants you've never seen before. Look at this guy. Bulbophyllum therium. Really, really cool flower. And here is a Sideria. Monica. And of course we have some cat layers. They smell amazing. Oh my god, you can smell the plants here. Gorgeous fragrance. Dendropiums and Meltoniopsis. Greckum. There's some more cool dendrobiums they have here. Dendrobium signatum. And it's fragrant. There's a lot of fragrance going on at JL's booth today. Look at these. Dendrobium mingle sapphire. You can see how when they bloom, they drop their leaves and then send up these beautiful flowers. Look at this. How unique is that? Androbium tetragonum album. They have Sophronitis coccinia, Japanese breeding. Which is always very cool to see new lines. And Japanese breeding is really neat quality and almost it's hard to find. And look at this little flower here. I don't know if I'm gonna focus well on here, but cute little mini. And of course, for my friends who love Mazda Valleys, this place is the spot. Like, look at this. This guy could be yours if you come visit Sipos this weekend, happening right now. If you're watching this video, as soon as it comes out, you could take some of these plants home. Really beautiful. Check out this. Mazda Valley, how different. Here's a Dryadella Cristata in bloom. I'm a 
look at this flower. Some of these I don't know if I'm going to do a great job at highlighting because they're so small and minute, perfect little flowers. But they have a lot in bloom at j &L's booth this year at Sipos. Again, really unique Mazda Valias. If you're growing in cool growing terrariums, this is a great spot. Here's my friends at j &L Orchids. All right, let's go over here. We have some beautiful Phalaenopsis from my friends at Tida. Love Tida orchids. Look at the sea of Phalaenopsis. Oh my gosh. Every color of the rainbow. Tida has an absolutely fantastic nursery. I did a tour of a couple months back towards the, ho the holidays. So if you want to see what their nursery looks like, watch that video. And you can see all these beautiful blooms. And we'll have another video with Tida soon. And I'm excited to highlight how they grow these amazing Phalaenopsis in their grow space. Just a wall of beautiful plants. They have some Miltoniopsis. And Dendrobiums, really cool variety of plants. They even some paths they have over here, some the complex bulldog paths. And even some Cymbidium. The more compact growing small cymbidiums. So if you're not looking for something huge, this is a great spot. Morning. Morning. How are you? Uh -huh. Good to see you again. Brian, right? Yeah. Amber, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to start with highlighting some of the displays that they have here. As you saw earlier in the video, we showcased the vendors that they have and this is probably the largest sh orchid show and sale outside of florida they have over 20 vendors artisans growers international growers from ecuador taiwan thailand and uh it's a really phenomenal show this is the first time that i've been here i had a chance to do a walk around earlier and it is amazing. And this video is coming out here on Friday. The show is happening Saturday and Sunday. So if you live in the area, this is your sign to, to come. Because you will most definitely not be disappointed. Look at this. Catlia. Catlia Intermedia. How pretty. This is a gorgeous display. I'm filming this earlier in the day, so judging is happening. So unfortunately, I don't have the name of the society um, or grower, but this is quite the impressive display of orchids. Look at these catlias. Oh my gosh. The other interesting thing about this orchid show and sale, they also have a display on native orchids, which I'm gonna highlight a little bit later on. And that's very unique. I love to see the orchids found here in the United States of America highlighted in an orchid show and sale. Beautiful display. This is a very cool, unique display, including some flower arranging.
and there are 24 exhibits here at Sipos. Here's some nice paths, especially this one. Really like that path. Here are the arrangements, which Cassidy really loves. Yes, I wanted to highlight the arrangements because I think that they are so creative. And I got the lowdown from Bill, an organizer here at Sipos, on how this works. So each of the contestants are given the same supplies to work with. So the same filler, these branches, and they're given a selection of orchids to uh, use in their arrangement. And then they just have to come up with something and put it together. And then they are awarded. And I think that this is so creative. I really like the way that some of the contestants have bent the branches as opposed to just kind of leaving them, you know, splaying the way that they are. And um, I just think it's awesome. And we've never seen anything like this in terms of arrangements at other shows before. Yeah, I love it. So I just wanted to highlight this because it's so unique. These are very cool. I would love to do something like this in the future to enter a contest like this. You should. I think that's a great idea. I would literally love to. You would do, you would I do, would do so fabulous. well. You would. I you would, would do really, really, really well.
So many incredible some videos. Couple that are kind of up your alley. I say that one is. 
you like the mo yeah, the one with the, the purple edges?
This is amazing. This is the exhibit that I want to close out this section of the video with because it is native orchids <laughs> local to this area of the United States of America. And they have gorgeous blooms. These are things you can find in your backyard. Job at this. Look, look at this little guy. You could almost miss it. Something like that in the wild. It's true. Very cool. Or this little guy. So small. That's like about an inch and a half tall, and the leaves are maybe about an inch long. These are all either grown from seed or All right, everybody, that's going to conclude my time here at Sipos. Thank you so much to Sipos for letting me film this tour and highlight this show. So, thank you so much for watching. Work is by Brian. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hello everybody, I'm Brian from Orchids by Brian and today I'm at the Seapost International Orchid Society show and sale in Pennsylvania. I'm so excited to highlight the amazing vendors and displays that they have at the show. So without further ado, I'm going to transition over to Bob from Seapost to do a little introduction to what they have in store this year.